Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can deploy your voice AI agent for free using LiveKit Cloud. LiveKit Cloud was recently released and it allows you to deploy your voice agents with a couple of commands. On top of that, we're going to be adding an AI avatar, which we will be able to see in our deployed link. Without further ado, let's jump right in. First, head over to LiveKit.io. LiveKit is an open source software that is completely free that you can use to build voice agents. So once you head over here, click on start building and create an account, which you can do for free. And then you'll be prompted to create your first project. So for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to call my LK cloud project and I'll hit continue. And you can just skip these for now. All right. Now that we have a project created, let's head over to our code editor and begin authenticating to live kit to our terminal. And I'll show you step-by-step -step how to do that. So pull up any code editor you'd like. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using one called cursor. The first command we're going to run is LK cloud auth, and that's how we're going to sign into our live kit account in the terminal. Now let's press enter. And once you click enter now, it's going to open a tab in your browser. So let's hit enter and head over to our browser. We see this page comes up, which is wanting us to confirm the command line interface authentication. So let's just choose a project to connect to. Now we already created our project and just click on allow access. Now we can close out of this page and head back to our code. And we can just make this project a default. So hit yes. Next, let's run the command LK app create. And for this tutorial, we're going to use the Python template. Notice they have other languages like Node, React, so lots of JavaScript, and also other templates you can use like embedding a widget. But for now, we're just going to use the starter Python. So I'm going to click enter and we can call this anything. Let's just put test app. Now we need to gather our API keys. The first one being our OpenAI API key. So let's head back to the browser and I'll show you how to grab each one. Back in the browser, head over to platform.openai.com slash API keys. And once you're here, you're going to need to create an account and sign in. So I'm going to log in. And in here, click on create new secret key, copy that and head back to your code. So in here, I'm going to paste in that key that I just copied like so. And I'm going to click enter. Now we need the DeepGram API key. This is the service we're going to use to transcribe our speech to text to feed to the LLM. So let's head back to the browser. Let's search up DeepGram API key. And it's usually this first link below here. So click on creating API keys and click on free API key. Now you have to create an account and sign in, but this is completely free to do so. So I'm going to log in through Google. Now that I'm in here, I can click on create API key and I can just name this whatever I want, like test API key. Now I already have mine, so I'm not going to click create key as I'm going to use one that I already have, but this is how you would retrieve your DPM API key. So do that and then head back to the terminal. So now that we have that copy, let's paste that in there. And the third and final one we need is Cartesia. This is the voice that we're going to use for our avatar. So let's head over back to the browser. So let's Google Cartesia.ai and let's log in. And if you go down to the bottom left where it says API keys, this is where you can create your new API key, just like so. You can give a little description and then it'll show it to you. You can copy that and head back to the code. Now let's enter that Cartesia API key. And now let's press enter. And we see we have this test app in our directory now. So let's cd into that. So I'm going to run the command cd test app. Now let's install our dependencies and we can do that by running the command uv space sync. And it made us these two files, the pyproject.toml and the uv.lock file. Right now we're installing the plugins that we're going to be using like AIO HTTP for an example, a couple of different live kit plugins, open AI and some more. Now to create our agent, we're going to use the command LK agent create. And now this is starting the deployment process. So let's click enter and we can just use this project to say yes. We are using the .env.local file, and now we are deploying our agent. And once this is done, we'll be able to test it in the LiveKit sandbox to speak with it. It's running commands for us. Like you can see here, it's running this download files command, which we would usually use when testing an agent in the console. But this command takes care of that in LiveKit Cloud for us. And it asks us if we want to view the logs. For now, we don't need to. We can just go right to the sandbox. I'll show you how to do that. So just click no for now. Before we head to the sandbox, let's double check our agent has been created by clicking on this agents tab right here. Then if you scroll down to our agents, we see that we have this agent right here, which we just created. And I deployed the six minutes ago, which is accurate. We can click on it right here to view a little bit of information about it, like sessions served, agent uptime, and agent join latency. So now we have confirmed our agent has been created. Let's head over to the sandbox on the left-hand side. Now we want to connect this to a front end. So instead of video conference or token server, click this middle one right here that says web voice agent. And all you want to do is just click create sandbox. Now it's going to ask you this. You can choose what your URL says. So I'm just going to say JB, which is my initials, and then avatar. And I'll click create. Now we see our sandbox has been created, but we don't need to install the CLI or bootstrap an app from template. So let's just click done right here. And now to speak with our voice agent that we set up, click on launch right here. 
All right, now we see our deployed link. This is not in localhost. This is a link that LiveKit gave us. So this link right here, we put it in our browser and we see that Next.js front end that we wanted. And if we click start call, we should be able to speak with our voice agent. Now let's click start call and wait for the agent to appear. Hey, can you hear me? I can. How can I assist you today? Yeah, can you tell me a fun fact about San Francisco? Sure. Did you know that San Francisco is home to the first cable cars in the world? They were introduced in the late 19th century and are still in operation today, providing a unique way to explore the city's steep hills. Got it. And what's a fun fact about AI? Here's a fun one. AI can learn from vast amounts of data much faster than humans. Some AI systems can analyze millions of documents in seconds, which helps them spot patterns and make predictions that would take humans much longer to figure out. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have more questions or need assistance with anything else, just let me know. And if I click end call here, the agent goes away. Awesome. So we see that our deployed link is working. Now let's work on integrating the avatar into our setup. First off, head into the source folder and look at this agent.py file. So look at the, this is the functionality of our voice agent and it is a file that LiveKit provides to us. We're making a class for our assistant and LiveKit gives us this fake function tool, but you don't have to worry about that for now. The main thing you want to look at is this entry point where we are declaring our session with our different plugins, such as OpenAI for our LLM, DeepGram, Cartesia, then a couple of different things for our turn detection, ma making the conversation flow a bit better. Now, if you scroll down a bit more, we see the session.start function kicks off the room, setting the agent to the assistant class that we just initialized and edits the room input options a little bit. And then this connect function allows us, the user, to connect to the room. And for today's video, we're going to be using Simly. So I'll show you how to integrate that. So I'm going to go over the Simly doc step-by-step step. for the installation. We're going to run pip install and this command right here, but instead of pip, we're going to be using UV and I'll show you how to do that. So copy this command and head back to your terminal and paste in the command, but you can go ahead and delete the pip install just like so. And instead of that, write UV add and then hit enter. This is going to be installing the Simly plugin that we need. Okay, cool. Now, once that is done, let's run UV sync one more time. And then once that is done, we need to add that to our list of plugins. So right here we have Cartesia, DeepGram, all the way to Solero. We're going to add Simly and save that. Now we need to grab our API key and choose an avatar to use. So let's head back to the browser and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so head over to Simly.com and create an account and sign in. Once you do so, click on create avatar. So you'll be brought into this interface. It's pretty simple. You'll see a list of your avatars and I actually made one of myself which I'll be using for the demo. And we have a couple of other ones right here, but the important thing to note is we have to copy this face ID. But before we do that, let's head over to API keys and get our API key situated. You'll see your API key right here. So just click on the copy button. Now we have a copy to clipboard and we're going to head back to our code. We need to initialize our avatar and we can do that right below where we initialize the session. So down under where we did that, go ahead and paste in this, the simply object that we just imported and then we are calling the avatar session method on it. So copy and paste your API key here as well as that face ID that I mentioned to you before. Now this is the face ID that I made for my own face. You can very easily do that by clicking on create avatar. Next, we need to start the avatar and wait for it to join. So you can do that by calling the start function like we were doing below down here using the session.start but instead using await avatar.start passing in the session in the room. And that is pretty much all we have to do. So let's test out that our avatar is actually attached. So to do that, we can test that in the LiveKit Playground. So what I'm gonna do is run a couple of commands. The LiveKit Playground is just a UI that LiveKit provides that lets you easily test and speak with your voice agents. Now we do have to run a command to download some necessary files and that command is uv run uh, source slash agent.py because that's how we're gonna access that file while we're in the parent directory. And then just write download hyphen files and let that run. And the next command that we want to run is uv run source slash agent.py dev. Run that and then let's head back to our browser. Back in the browser, search up live kit playground and click on that project that we just started and then click connect the project. And once we click connect, we're basically waiting for our agent to show up as well as our avatar that we attached to it. So right now we're gonna click this button and we should be greeted with our voice agent and our simly avatar. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. How about you? Yeah, I'm good. Can you just tell me a fun fact about San Francisco? 
Sure. San Francisco is home to the famous cable cars, which are the only mobile national historic landmarks in the United States. They were first introduced in 1873 and are still in operation today, making them a unique part of the city's charm. Interesting. Can you tell me a fun fact about yourself? Of course. I can provide information on a wide range of topics, from weather updates to trivia and everything in between. I never get tired, and I'm always ready to help. How about that for a fun fact? And awesome. So we see that our avatar is showing up connected to our voice agent. We can speak with it and see the chat live right in front of us. So now let's go back to the code and I'll show you how to deploy this version so that when you pull up your deployed link in the sandbox, this avatar will show up as well. And one thing I know it's bad practice to put your API keys directly in the code like this, but I'm just doing that for the sake of the example. When you're doing this yourself, I recommend putting this in the .env.local file that we have here. But anyways, back to the code. What I want to show you is how we actually deploy it. So we only have to run one command to get this actually in the deployed version. And that command is LK agent deploy. Now, when I run this, it is adding our changes we have just made, which is the avatar integration into our deployed link. Let's wait for this to load. All right. So now we see here, it says deployed agent. So let's go back to our link and see if we can speak with our avatar. Once again, head over to Sandbox. And you can get there by just clicking this launch button right here. Now you see this link is pulled up. Let's start the call and test it out. Can you hear me? Hey there, I can hear you in a way. How can I assist you today? Can you tell me a fun fact about San Francisco? Absolutely. San Francisco is home to the famous Golden Gate Bridge, which is not just an engineering marvel, but also the most photographed bridge in the world. It took about four years to build and was completed in 1937. It's painted in a color called International Orange, which helps it stand out against the often foggy backdrop. Want to know more about San Francisco? Yeah, can you actually just tell me a fun fact about New York? Sure. One fun fact about New York City is that it has its own unique ecosystem with over 600 species of birds spotted in the city. Central Park alone is a vital stopover for migratory birds, making it a great spot for bird watching right in the middle of the urban hustle. Anything else you'd like to learn? That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have more questions in the future, feel free to ask. Have a great day. Thank you for watching, and as always, I put the link to the GitHub repository in the description, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I'll be happy to respond. See you in the next tutorial.